Alright guys, this is a microphone I've purchased recently online. It was from Cash Converters, as you can see here. It's got the label on it, it's priced up at $39.99. Now I bought this online off the website, and it was actually listed for $34.99. Um, and I ended up sending them an offer of, I think it was something like £30 or something, and they accepted it. And then they posted it out. Now apparently this was working and was a proper show microphone, which it is not. So I'm just going to go over a couple of the issues with this thing first. Um, in terms of condition it said there was some dents and stuff in the top, I mean that's kind of acceptable I guess. From uh, use over time, it's in fair condition I guess. But the problem with it mainly is that, well, First of all, it isn't a genuine show microphone. And secondly, it is not working, which it was sold as working. Now, the way I know it is not a genuine show microphone is in a few different ways. Now, if we take the top off. Now, that straight away is a dead giveaway. That this isn't a genuine microphone, because this here thread should be silver on the genuine microphones. There's also another thing here which shows the label has been peeled off and stuck on or something at some point, as you can see that, and it doesn't even match up all the way around like it should do on the genuine one. The printing is fairly good on the sticker, so on a first inspection it looks kind of the piece. But then there's this here printed, the low Z and the cardioid pattern and such these aren't on the genuine SM58 that doesn't get printed to it they're printed to the 57 but they're not printed onto the SM58 which they are in this microphone's case now another thing about this is the actual capsule at the top here I'm pretty sure this should actually be black and also it should have some sort of a sticker on it which I'll try and get a picture of which I've seen on genuine ones um, so yeah, this on the top should be grey, the foamy piece, which it is I guess. Now if I go a bit deeper inside, take the bottom off, I'll show you just the real issue with this microphone. The fact that it was sold as working, but it definitely isn't. I've not even plugged it in, but I know it isn't working, because if we look in here, Right there we can see that the wiring is all twisted up and has snapped. So that ain't going to work for shit, I can assure you. Going back to the fact that it is fake, you can see here it is stamped Mexico. Whereas on the genuine show microphones, there's a different type of stamp here. It doesn't say Mexico. It's in red like that, but it's slightly different. I'll try and put a picture of that up. I believe this thread here should be silver. In the bottom here we can see the transformer. It's quite hard to see sort of what's down there. So I can't really comment too much on that. It feels like a proper microphone, especially in terms of the weight and such as well. But it most definitely isn't. Let's have a look down into the XLR connector here. Now if we look in the XLR area, you can probably just about see. Underneath pin 3, it is stamped sure. Another sort of giveaway is on the bottom here. This recess around the XLR connector. Now I've seen genuine ones that are perfectly flat around the top here. And they've got none of this recess whatsoever. I've also seen ones with a very very slight recess but this is a considerable depth of one you can feel it quite a lot another thing that's different on this which I don't see mentioned elsewhere really but is the pin on the XR, the third pin here is smaller than the other two by a considerable amount if you look at it which again shows that it's not a proper connector I would imagine that's not one I've seen spoke about elsewhere, 
but it could well be something that only some fakes have got. Now in terms of weight, the SM58 should weigh in at 298 grams, I believe it is. Yeah, 298 grams. And um, anything different is a counterfeit, especially if it weighs less. Well, I haven't actually got the chance to weigh this thing, because I'm not sure where there's any scales. But it feels like it might be pretty close to it, in terms of the way it feels a decent microphone. Now I would probably have kept this on the condition that it was actually working, which it was sold as working. But I am now contacting them and getting a refund on this damn thing, because it's been sold as working and it is not. So it's more the principle that it's been sold in that way. Had this been a counterfeit microphone, a fake one, but worked, probably wouldn't have been that arsed and had I still kept it and made use of it. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching this little video. I uh, hope it was of some use to you and helpful. Please leave a comment down below if you've bought anything and had issues like this from cash converters before. Microphones especially, because they have a few SM58s on there and I do wonder whether they're all counterfeit ones to be honest anyway I would advise that you go in and physically have a look at these if you're looking at purchasing a microphone from them because it well could be a fake as you should do with all microphones really that you're purchasing because there's a lot of counterfeit SM58s around and as you can see with this one it looks and kind of feels the part before you actually get into looking at the fine details